All right, as you can see, this is right where we left off yesterday. Hello and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles with In Harm's Way. This will be episode 10. All I did since last episode was shut the whole thing down. Um, I am wanting to continue exploring this dungeon, but we can see it's pretty extensive. And it's going to be difficult to really get a lot out of it. I mean, not a, that, that's the wrong thing. It's going to be difficult to find everything. Oh, the book. More bread. Okay, so grab the chest, take the trust chest back. The, the sad thing is that one of the things we truly have to look out for when we're going back and forth here is exactly where everything is. Because there's quite a bit that can kill us here. Night Sight and Thorns. You can put that on armor, it looks like. Okay, we saw that there was something here, and so I am going to all right, it's not what I thought. I thought that there was a zombie spawner right there, like right here. But I'm not seeing it now that we're in the room. I'm hearing zombies, but I'm not seeing a spawner now that we're in the room. Let's go back to this and go get some of our ladders and go up into that room. Is there anything here I haven't eaten? Yes, that. Uh, we only have one ladder. I thought we had more than that. We've got the ability to make a crafting table so that we can have more stuff. See, that doesn't look like it goes to another room close by. It goes all the way up. So we don't truly need... to build more, but we can have more there. Okay, so I'm going to put one of the woods away. going to keep as much. I'm going to use wood now to fill gaps so that we're not falling down everywhere, killing ourselves. We know there's stuff on the other side of that wall, so let's keep lighting the way up. I see a chest over there. I hear a zombie, which means there's probably a spawner over here somewhere. Let's no, because that'll burn. Don't 
dirt won't, but the wood will. Okay, there's an area we haven't explored. Brambles. A hero. Was that a witch? Yep. This lifesteal sword helps us. Look at how fast he is. Okay, so let's eat the dragon fruit. Okay, so there's a spawner over here. Which is why all of these people are coming out. So we need to light up what we can. So this guy's got the support with him. Look at how quick they are. So hitting him caused me to get fire. Oh, hello baby zombie. Where are you? There you are. Three, four of them right there. And so here we are again. It's night out. Sleep through it. Grab something to tide us over. Or that we can fill up our as we go.
Okay. Nice. So I've updated a couple of, or it's updated a couple of quests while I'm running. I thought I had killed all of the... Unless... Wow, okay. I didn't know there were ferrets in this. Okay. Let's go back and see about grabbing our all of our gear. Okay, don't forget we need to come back there and relight that and this right here. And that up there. Okay, there's got to be uh just light this up. Because based on where we were and how many mobs there were, there's got to be a spawner over here. So, I, I apologize guys, I didn't think today's episode was going to be me dying all the time again. But we've, you know, obviously not gotten most of the spawners out of there, so it's pretty much what we're... ...stuck with. We died in almost the exact same spot. Or so close to each other for it not to really matter. I mean, we were right there. that sound was. Hopefully not something coming to kill me. I really would like to see if there is something in this pack that allows me to capture some of these animals because I would like other animals to go with mine. So...
go back to our death. And keep lighting this place up. Because obviously we need to. What a weird... Oh, man. I apologize, guys. This is bad. I'll, I'll get back to you when I get all my stuff back and I'm not dead. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. I died twice more on the way over here. So, obviously, it's going to take us a little bit to fully explore these underground catacombs and stop dying that's a double chest you don't see a lot of double chests out in the world I hear a slime nearby Oh look, there's another one of those guys. We've seen those before. We know in here is the spider spawner and the zombie spawner. I'm okay with them spawning in the water. I'm not okay with us keep getting hit. <laughs> okay, guys. Be right back. Alright, guys. Welcome back again. Okay, so this time I didn't go in there to get my stuff. I mean, I'm going to go see what's in this chest. A bow. Some more food. We're going to take the chest. We're not going to go in there again this time. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do is get rid of that spider spawner. But I'm hoping that just passing through like that's not going to trigger it. So, first chest is all the miscellaneous stuff so far. I don't want to put the torches up there. But spawners and crystals and stuff like that. The second chest is nothing, so we're going to put that there. And the third chest is food. So we're going to store our food in that third chest. And hopefully what that means is that when we come back from dying the next time, we can actually have food available. Alright, so let's go back and find places that we have not because I know there was one over here and I'm going to cut through the wall to get to it light it up alright so what's back here maze all right zombie ok 
Okay, there's a spawner up at the top. <laughs> okay, so we have five minutes left. This is crazy. See you guys in a minute. Alright, we're back. And I saw a snatcher, or whatever you call him, running by with that diamond. So I hit him and he gave me the diamond. I didn't kill it, but it gave me the diamond. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now where were we? We were back around the corner here, weren't we? The cool thing is that it shows me where to go. Hopefully, there's not a lot of them left standing over the grave. Three crates right here. One spawner. So let's take the spawner out. and get the crates. Now, kind of walk through here. Hold on. Three of them? <laughs> Be right back. Alright, we're back. And this time, we'll just grab our gear and not try and fight anything. Grab our gear and get the heck out of there. Get back into the center so that we can actually sort through stuff and maybe not die again. definitely take out the spawner because if they don't have a spawner they can't kill us right yeah right okay so here's another place we need to make sure we mark that I'm not gonna go back there this isn't what I said I was gonna do is it Oh, wow. Riding a spider, even. Okay, so, I'm sure in here we could replenish some of our dirt by taking out some of this dirt. At least this second layer. And then that gives us a full stack of dirt. Let's sort through our stuff. Building materials. Storage. We haven't eaten a sub sandwich yet. We've got one arrow and a bow. Don't know that that's very suitable for us. Fifty four wood. I want to keep the sleeping mat because we might need to actually come back over here and sleep wants me to take the shield I probably should huh put that in our offhand because at least then we've got 
a shield. All right. Goblin. He didn't come up here. Chest. I don't know what that was falling. But that's time for today. So, what we're going to do... I, I'm sorry about all the deaths. But what we're going to do is... Going to stop where we're at. Actually, I'm going to go back to the center. And I'm going to... Unmark my deaths and we are going to come back tomorrow and explore this a little more so thank you so much for watching sorry that I died so much but like I've said before I'm still fairly new to it and not very good at combat apparently um, so we will come back and we will see how well we can do the next time if you guys liked it go ahead and hit that like button if you guys didn't let me know in the comments why see if it's something that I can fix if it's just because I suck then sorry I'm new at it and I'm trying not to and we will continue working on exploring this because as you can see this complex if you're looking up there in that right hand corner or let's just look at the journey map this complex is huge so, and we haven't, this is us right here, we haven't seen nearly any of it yet compared to what we can. Alright, that's going to be it. Hope you guys had a good time. Till next time, bye-bye.